Step 1, fast lane access. Step 2, lounge access. everyone and welcome to yet another trip report. I'm in Brussels airport. I'm in the loft lounge which is the signature lounge by Brussels Airlines right here at Pier A of the airport and I'm traveling to Copenhagen to attend DockerCon. Now DockerCon is a conference that is all the rage. It deals with the Docker technology, the containerization technology that the world has been obsessed by for the last couple of years. <music> Now comes step three, priority boarding. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We would like to welcome you on board SS and Star Alliance. And this flying time to Copenhagen is estimated to 1 hour and 20 minutes. Not a bad room at all. Very modern, which I like. Great view, top floor, late checkout, free drinks. Let me show you a little bit of the view. Day one of the conference, slept well, had a good breakfast, and now it's time to go for it. This event will be huge. Check out the entrance. So look, first of all, thank you to everyone for taking a week out of your schedule and coming out and spending time with us. So with that, I'm going to make a sacrificial appeasement to the demo gods. We can actually use those backups with the Docker application converter to containerize your pet store. Wait, the Docker application converter? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't modify this app. Oh, don't worry. The Docker application converter, or the DAC, as I like to call it, doesn't actually modify your source code. It's going to scan your virtual machine backup, extract the bits it needs, and then automatically generate a Docker file that you can use to build the application image. just finished and uh, during those uh, general sessions that lasted about two hours we've seen a set of yeah must admit exciting announcements uh, both from a business perspective as from a technical perspective there were a variety of people from the docker company ranging from the CEO the CTO people who were in product but also from the wider ecosystem who made these announcements announcement number one is that they will be focusing heavily on the transition from legacy applications who aren't dockerized to fully feature Dockerized application by introducing a set of tools that will discover the stack and will turn it into Docker. That's one thing. And the other thing is that we'll be doubling down on Kubernetes. At this point, Docker Swarm is the main tool to run containers in production. And if you have Docker on your laptop, there will be a swarm there. 
as of Q1 2018, the newest version of Docker will also feature Kubernetes, that other project, that other runtime that is very popular, and a project that I'm following myself. So as of 2018, you'll be able to run Docker Compose on your local laptop, and it will run both in Swarm and in Kubernetes mode. So there'll be a Kubernetes on your local machine. And if you run Docker in the enterprise version, Kubernetes will also be available in production. So those are not only technically and from a product standpoint important announcement but also the way forward you see that kubernetes as a community and the native docker community are coming together and uh, doing one big effort which i like leave the event for a minute. I uh, had a look at the schedule. I have some interesting sessions lined up, but that's for later. Now I have a chunk of time where I'm working. I'm back in my room in the hotel, which is just right next to the conference center. And I've ordered some food, room service, a little bit of that fish and chips thing I've got going on. Quick bite, continue to work, and then back to the conference center for still day one of DockerCon. day two of DockerCon. I'm still here in my hotel room right next door and I'm ready to depart. I have my bags packed already because tonight I'm leaving Copenhagen and traveling directly to London for another conference but that's a different vlog. Today is all about day two of DockerCon. At 9 a.m. the general session starts so it's two hours of non-stop information and a bit of entertainment in the main auditorium learning what's new in Docker. from the SAS lounge here at Copenhagen Airport. I uh, got to the lounge to put in some work in the business center. That was a first, I hooked my laptop up, continued some presentations I still had to deliver next week. And I'm nearly ready to board my flight. It's uh, boarding at 10 past eight, so I still have a couple of minutes to, to refresh myself, to have some food, have some drinks, and then we're off to London. And that will then be the end of this very vlog, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. 